guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. If you're not, welcome back. I have missed you. You guys might notice my new family member back here, which he definitely needs a name. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think we should name White Toner Printer down here. Today I'm gonna talk about what exactly white toner printing is and introduce you to the concept. I know when I first heard about it, I was like, what? How do you print white ink or toner? I, don't, I, I was just lost and my brain didn't really comprehend it until I started seeing it and being introduced and it's a really easy concept once you see it and then it makes a lot of sense. So. I'm gonna just tell you what it is. I have another video that will be called, what is the difference between white toner printing and sublimation? You knew you were thinking it and you might just have finally figured out what sublimation is, but I will break it down, the science and all the things in the next video. So if you are still wondering after seeing this, I'll break it down for you guys. White toner printing is a two step printing process. It is done with a laser printer. It prints onto a clear sheet of substrate. It's a full color printer. So just think printing. It's like you're, it, you're printing out a picture. You could take a picture of your family and print it. Your own designs. Any of my designs, if you remember, you can print so many things with it, including white. The second step is what allows you to include white and also allows you to put your printable onto your substrate. I have a video for all the steps, walking you through them and how to actually do this. In this video, I'm just covering what it is so that you guys can mentally prepare for what you're about to do before you actually jump in and start doing it. You print it and then you heat it onto a substrate that has glue. Glue only works with the laser ink. It's very similar to foiling. Um, if you've ever foiled anything, you'll know that the foil will only stick to a laser printed project versus, but it also prints in the areas where the white is. So that's where the white toner comes in. So there's actually a white tone that comes out. If we were to try to do that with sublimation, that wouldn't work again we'll have a video on the difference between sublimation and white toner printing so that you fully understand the difference in those two things. And now you have a fully transferable color printed design that is ready to go on any type of fabric, which is game changer because you do not have to have a certain blend. You don't have to have, obviously there are going to be things that we can't put it on, like anything that will melt or anything that can't handle heat, but possibilities are endless and my brain is starting to slowly think about more things as I more and more think of this in the realm of heat transfer vinyl versus sublimation. You know, there's difference, there's a big difference Hence why you should watch the video if you're still like, well, what is the difference between in sublimation? There is a big difference and I will break it down over there. Two step process, you print it, it sticks to a glue that only sticks to the ink, which also includes white ink. So then all the white stays and then you peel it and then you heat press it and I will have a way better tutorial so that you can actually see it. So make sure you watch that video if you have gotten one and you're ready to use it or you have one and you haven't pulled it out of the box because you're scared or whatever. If you invested in this thing and you did not pull it out of the box, I am sorry, but don't do that. Get it out of the box right now, okay? All right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.